Daddy's home. See, we're back in the mosh pit, just temporary. We're not we're not back full time yet, but I'm excited to be back. We're here to do Sony Deville's pair. We talked a little bit about what she wanted to do. She wanted to do Rainbow. She wanted to represent her brand, Rainbow Love, and obviously she represents the LGBTQ community. So the challenge is always to do something dope. Um, Jordan ones are always a very popular base, and uh, it's always my my job to make you know something that's pretty normal now to make it you know more extraordinary. So. There's a challenge at hand. We're gonna go to work and uh, yeah. What What's up? up dude? What's going on? How you doing? I'm good. How about you? Long time no talk. I know. I, I missed you when we were in Philly. I know. So, Things were crazy. Yeah, yeah. And then you didn't get to wear them. <laughs> That's the funny part. How annoying. It always works out like that. It's always something crazy. Right. I finally do a pair of shoes and they switch it up on you. <laughs> I can like barely hear you. Are you covering your. I don't know. I'm I'm rolling in. I might be I'm like the old guy doesn't know how to use a phone. So for Pride Month, I know there's not gonna be a lot of like actual parades and stuff because of the virus and everything. Right. But I think they're they're doing like a lot of virtual stuff still, and I want to do like a cool post. So I wanted to see if we could do like a Pride version of like a J one. Okay. And do you still want, I mean, obviously rainbows and all that good stuff. Do you want to have any kind of like, um, you want to have black on them still? Like a contrast? Almost like how your how your other shoes were, but like on a one? Yeah. I mean, do I have any shoe that doesn't have black? I was going to say, I was, was going to say, if it doesn't have black, it's not your shoe. <laughs> Literally. I'm going to let you do like all the sign, come up with it, because you always kill it. But definitely like my vibe, still black, but some rainbow in it. Too. Right. Okay, um, do you want to have any kind of like writing on it? Like, do you want pride? Do you want like any kind of anything? Like, I can really put any anything, honestly. My new clothing line is called Rainbow Love. Right, okay. So what is with Rainbow Love shoe? Okay, so I could probably do like the Rainbow Love. Like, if you can send me like the logo, I'm sure you have a logo. So, yeah. send me the logo and I can probably put it. I mean, I've been doing that with Jordan once, it's like putting the logo across the backs because it's just like a flat panel there. That's a good idea. So I could do rainbow on one heel and love on the other one. Like something love like it. that. Okay. That's like easy. This is, this is an easy consultation. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, hang in there. I will keep you posted on all this stuff. And Thanks. I, I got you. And yeah, we'll try and bang this up pretty quick for you. Awesome. Let me know. You got it. I'll talk to you soon. Bye, Mosh. I'll right, see bye. you. Yep. Bye. Ugh. Back in the Mosh pit. Oh, it's been so long. It's been like two months. I had cabin fever, but it's finally time to start getting back to business. First pair is going to be for Sonya Deville, as you saw. I talked to her back at home. Shoes are in. I had to come to the mosh pit to do it again. So, I don't even know what to say. I'm just so freaking excited. Let's go. Kobe! <laughs> don't need this. Do we need this? I don't know. Uh, Alright, I guess we'll paint these. <laughs> So, Sonia Daria is going to be representing the LGBTQ community, as always. Um, and with the shoes, we're going to do some rainbows, you know, because we did the, sh the rustling shoes before. We're going to do the rainbow fade on the toe box, on the back of the heel. M more like the fragment color blocking, but all in rainbow fades. And then we have our clothing brand, the Rainbow Love, that we're going to put on the back heels. Seems to be a popular placement for logos just because it is an open panel. So, I figure if it ain't broke, don't fix it, right? All right, time to paint these things. We're gonna do a base coat of white because obviously bright colors do not translate on black shoes. So base coat of white, do the rainbow fades. Time to blast the music, get the paint, inhale those fumes, and uh, we'll see you in a couple hours. <laughs> what are you doing? Killing time. <laughs> takes takes a long time to cut. Oh, good, it's done. I'll tell you what, sometimes these stencils are the most tedious part of these whole paint jobs. Painting bases, easy. Stencils, not easy. Rainbow, so make sure I'm centering it correctly. It'd be mad funny if I, uh, <laughs> after I just talked all that smack and I put them on the wrong shoe anyway. All right, Mosh, stop playing, time to paint. Oh, 
paint's gonna be a today. Oh, we're gonna be like that. Okay, we're good. Now, you know the story about, or like the, the stigma that goes around with all black Air Force Ones, right? No. People are known to do illegal activities. Oh, yeah, all yeah, black yeah. Air Forces. Yep. Yeah, yeah. All black Jordan Ones, though, I guess it's a little different. Less of a stigma, I suppose. I had to make sure that uh, Sony got the, the Jordan 1 highs and not the mids, because we don't have with the mids. Uh, I was giving Selena flack because she had these beat white Air Force 1 mids. Every, every time she shows me them, I'm like, you still got those white mids all beat up? You're still rocking those white, those white ones. Yes, I am. <laughs> tip when the paint gets dried in the cap and you can't open it I'm strong I can usually open this smack it a couple times because that's gonna loosen the bond look at that freaking magic I'm going on tour who is it I got a special delivery from my boy JC Rowe with the, the Jordan 5 fire red guy number one of 90 I didn't even know that was that I got the first one that's dope it's actually one of my favorite Jordan 5s. Actually, the 5 is tattooed right here. And then we got the Marshawn Lynch uh, Beast Mode camo, because uh, this is actually a mural that's in Oakland. And when he did the mural, that has the cleats that I did that Marshawn was wearing. JC Rowe, thank you, my man. I appreciate it. Um, they're going to go with the jersey somewhere. Everyone go support it. That's, that's how we do it. Support the good guys. I never do the satisfying untaping because I never tape pretty. I tape for results, not for beauty. Just gotta pull out the, uh, the rainbow love. Rainbow love. <laughs> rainbow love. Rainbow love. I'm just gonna acetone this crap off then I'll go back and do the, the lettering. If you ain't painting your edges you're lacking. Durability, making sure that she's uh, she's good. Yeah. What's the story of the tattoo? It's actually a cover-up <laughs> of a tattoo that I did that was terrible when I was 18. Scotty Munster, tattoo artist and I in Minnesota, another fellow Vikings fan, connected with him when I started going out for Vikings games, and he initially started with the uh, the Garfield doing the uh, the pot of Air Max as a cover-up, because Garfield obviously is what I drew when I was a kid and still love Garfield. And then um, we decided to add to it. And the last time, uh, well, actually a couple years ago now, um, we had the cause and uh, just like the orange in the background and he just worked it right around what was going on. Yeah, I mean, I'd love to add more. Mrs. Mosh might disagree, but uh, I want to add more. I got the itch again, especially being, a, being in quarantine. So uh, yeah, man, one of many that I have. So shout out to Scotty Munster. So here we are with the finished product. Rainbow Love on the backs. That's her clothing brand, and like I said, Daria Sonia Deville wanted to do the rainbow with her signature black, because you know all her gear is black once she rocks. So these are all good, ready to go. She can kick ass, or she can you know represent. Either way, she's good. And uh, yeah, man. As for everybody else watching, follow, subscribe, like, all that good stuff, because. Like I said, that's the only way this page grows. So I do appreciate you and uh, yeah, go do that. Thanks. What's up, dude? What's going on? How you doing? I'm good, I'm good. How was filming? Oh, it was good, you know, another day. Another day, I'm sure. So did you, yeah. um, so you're ready, ready to see these things? They're done? Yeah. They're done, done? Done, done. Come I, on, show me. I'm gonna flip, I'm gonna flip the camera. Bro. So. Those are fire. So, oh my god. 
So what I did was I kept the hot and colds on the toes. It's the same fade on both of them. Oh my God. So it all continues all the way around it. I'm obsessed. And then the same deal. It's like, so the purples, the blues. Let me see the back, rainbow yeah. love. Yeah, hold on. Oh my God, that's so cool. I'm literally obsessed. Dope. Those are gonna look so sick. Oh my, oh actually I have my rainbow love t-shirt on right now. They oh, look we're so good. Obsessed. Just happened to be that way. <laughs> literally, we have yeah. good to go. And then I, did, I changed the, the wings logo and I got the heart inside there. Oh my God, that's so cute. Yeah, a little touches, you know. With, yeah, with a little finesse in there. Yeah, a little song. And enough black, so it's still you, but... Hell yeah, you. no, they're on point. Thanks, dude. All right. Appreciate you. Gotcha. All right, I'll All right. see you soon. Yep, yeah, bye. Bye. Cool. Another happy customer. Now let's go uh, box them up and send them down to Florida.